welcome Gemini we're doing a love reading for you today and uh, there could be many energies that come out so just take what resonates for you don't try and make a story fit for you if you feel like it doesn't you could always reach out for a personal reading that's attuned specifically to your energy and situation I will put my booking link on here and down below big welcome to those that are new to my channel as well as those that follow me regularly love your support if you do enjoy my readings make sure to subscribe to my channel show the love hit that like button and the notification bell to get notified when your next star sign readings up on my channel now a big congrats to our June winner who was Marilyn Shank so Marilyn if you're listening you do need to get in touch you won the one hour personal reading with me I'll put my email on here and down below to claim your prize there's still a chance to go into the July draw to win the one hour pre-recorded personal reading with me I meditate on your energies, check your Akashic record, your past life information, answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle. Super easy to enter. All you got to do is pop a comment below this video. Any video in uh, July to enter the competition, let me know you want to go into the draw. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel. All right, my loves, let's dive in. So first up, let's have a look at what's coming towards you in terms of love. Now, this reading could be for singles, those of you that are thinking of an ex, new love, those of you coupled up, we'll see what comes out, Gemini. <laughs> Got the message to get your flirt on and extend your energy to others, so that's definitely for singles. Mm-hmm. Some of you may be looking for new love. All right. There's also some forgiving and learning to do, healing from the past. So some of you still need to clear your energy and release things from the past. Well, you got a message to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Uh, we'll dive into that. We haven't got enough information yet to see on what type of connection we're dealing with there. So anything bothering you, just bring it up, yeah? Well, there's going to be this magnetic attraction in chemistry, or there is a magnetic attraction between the two of you. Oh, and there's absolutely divine timing happening in your love life right now, certainly for singles. Okay. Uh, those of you single getting your flirt on, Spirit's saying that you may come across someone where there's going to be quite a few differences between you. So keeping an open mind, you may come from different backgrounds cultural backgrounds have different spiritual beliefs different ways of looking at the world hmm. there's also an opportunity to travel now this could be on your own it could be as a couple a honeymoon card there oh yeah hello also good engagement so your love life's ascending to a high level of commitment Sitting directly under heart-to-heart -heart conversation, some of you, there's a proposal coming and you're going to be planning your wedding, your honeymoon. Mm. You've also got a message to let go of control, allow things to unfold naturally. This is related to those of you single where you're going to meet someone, there's going to be some passion and chemistry going on. Okay. You've also got separation here, time apart from your partners on the horizon. It's sitting directly under, worth waiting for. So you may meet someone and for some reason you're going to be separated either for work, for travel. All right, let's put some guidance from the angels. Aren't this oracle? Oh, singles, you've got a message. There's some perfect timing going on in your love life. So when that message comes out, either we need to get ready for it or the person we're trying to connect with also needs to get ready to align with our path. Hmm. Spirit's calling for you to have faith and trust. Some of you, it's in terms of you need to release the past and move forward. For others, it's about trusting that this connection, this commitment is coming towards you. Right? Don't overthink it. Oh, darlings, within the next few months, there's a proposal coming. Hello. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. Okay. You've also got an unlikely here. Now, this is in relation to a connection where there's a lot of passion and chemistry. Why is there an unlikely? 
Okay, there's an unlikely and then you'll have success. So there could be a little bit of a stumbling block when you first meet this person. Because right next to that, oh, okay, you got a message, there's something better. There's something better coming in. This is related to time of separation. So if you're separated from someone or someone is not available in terms of their time, like, for example, they work away a lot or they travel a lot, uh, even though that there's passion and chemistry, that might be all that there is, or it's just it's not going to meet your needs, darling, in some way, because you're going to be the one holding the basket, dare to say, when they're having off having their freedom, <laughs> right? And it's it, like you're holding on to the emotional side of it, and they're just doing their own thing. Yeah, spirit saying you need to get more information. You don't know enough about this person or their intentions. Be some love guidance. Oh, singles, you've got to maintain your individuality, spirit saying. So be wary of possessive partners. Maintain your own individuality. Particularly, you'll notice that when you've got a beautiful energy going on right now. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You may have someone that wants to try and capture you, like tie you down in terms of uh, wanting you all to themselves, but in a way that's really possessive. That's not going to be great. You'll feel that energy. You'll be like, it'll be someone that either like really love bombs and promises you the world full, like straight off the bat because they've probably been single for a while and they've suddenly come across your beautiful light and gone, oh, I might like to capture that light. Watch that because there's no substance to it. There's no foundation to it yet. They're just trying to get hold of you and your energy more you know it's kind of like wanting somebody that what do I, I kind of want to feel like it's an ornament they put on a shelf do you know what I mean like to capture that beauty of someone something wow watch that watch that oh those of you that need to do some forgiving and learning spirit saying you have to watch out for toxicity in relationships right that drain your energy and your self-worth. So you may be somebody that could be empathic. So you kind of want to see the best in people versus seeing how they're showing up. You may have a little bit around people pleasing, slightly weak boundaries, I'm going to say, if this is what you've been attracting. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this uh, commitment coming in here. Oh, you've got a message about passion and keeping the passion alive in this connection. So that's an important part of this connection, right? It's the heartbeat of love. So needs to be open on, you know, both sides in terms of that intimate side. All right, this is where there's chemistry going on. Oh, well, Spirit's saying you're going to have the opportunity to dress up and get out and about, darlings, and have party and some fun times ahead. Um, dare I say, just watch out for those one night stands because there's someone there with a lot of passion and chemistry. Mm -hmm. Oh, those of you where there's someone here that's not going to be right for you, right? Then just don't have the time. Um, you've got the message, you've got abundance coming in. So open your heart to receive the abundant love the universe has to offer. So don't settle for less than you're worth, right? Don't hold yourself back when you've got somebody that's really not committed to you or they want their freedom and they're just doing whatever they want. Know that you're worthy of a beautiful love. All right, let's pull some clarifiers. For singles who need to maintain their individuality and watch out for possessive people. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You've got a message that you need to strike a balance between freedom and commitment. So you still need to, again, this message coming through about maintaining your individuality. Mm -hmm. So you want somebody that's got their own interests. You've got your own interests. You still allow, allow each other to have those, your own friendship. Now, this is related to some of you that need to do some forgiving and learning, particularly when it comes to toxic connections. Mm, yeah, you've got a looming agenda here. Whoever you were connected to in the past, you had different ideas about intimacy and love. Mm. 
Mm. Well, this is interesting. So this is in relation to this um, beautiful love connection here that's going to be an engagement. You've got spirit speaks. You're being asked to connect with spirit. Seek wisdom in prayer, but also have an open dialogue. Again, this message about heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So some of you might be very spiritual. Any other guidance there? Okay. For those of you that are single, you're possibly going to meet somewhere where there's this very passionate connection. It's really saying you've got to avoid burnout, right? So fiery passion is consuming, sustain a lasting balance. So if it's all just going to be intimacy and passion, spirit saying it's going to burn out like a flame, right? It's that, you know, ignites and then you've just got the matchstick that's burnt out, darling. Think of that analogy. So you've got to temper the energy of that. If you want that to go somewhere versus it just being intimacy, then you're going to have to create a foundation, right, where there is actually friendship and connection. Otherwise, it's just going to be passion. So just be mindful of that. Mm, okay, so this is in relation to the person where they're really not going to meet your needs, right? You've got a message that you need to lay it to rest. Mm, let go of lingering disputes and make peace together. So maybe just acknowledge and get on the same page in terms of it doesn't meet your needs, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be any, you know, anything in terms of conflict there, spirit saying. Just recognizing that you're possibly on a different, have different ideas about what you want. I don't think this person's going to give you any indication that they want something serious, darlings. You may think that they do, but they're doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put some love messages. This for singles. Oh, you've got a message that you've got a relationship that's going to come in that's going to deepen in the next few months. One that you've been waiting for. Are those of you that need to do some forgiving and learning, particularly around toxic connections? Oh, spirit saying, pay attention to the signs, right? There's some synchronicities that you have been noticing that are not coincidences. So perhaps you're going to have people cross your path, right? That are going to, where spirit's going to ask you, have you learnt the lesson? Right, so if you recognize patterns of people coming into your life that are toxic, that remind you of situations you've been in before, it's a test. Have you learned that test? Are you going to say no to it? Are you going to recognize the signs and say no to it? Mm -hmm. All right, have a, let's have a look at this couple here where there's this beautiful connection. Spirit saying, be open in your communication and your intimacy. Oh, yeah, Spirit saying, you need to be optimistic. Right? It says, keep in mind you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. So you can be very positive here. Any other guidance? Okay, there's a bit of deception going on there. Someone's wearing a mask. This is why the heart, if you're feeling like someone's wearing a mask or there's something going on, Spirit's saying, just have the heart to heart conversations. It might not be what you think. Mm hmm. Yeah. They might also be hiding the fact that they've already just been down to the jewellery shop and ordered the ring. <laughs> and you're going, what are they being deceptive about? Oh, they are trying to hide the fact that they've ordered the ring, darling. <laughs> right? Oh, don't be so nosy. <laughs> They're trying to surprise you. All right, let's have a look at this one where you're single and there's this, dare I say, passion going on here with someone you're going to meet on a night out. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a magnetic connection, darlings. <laughs> Very strong pull, intensity that draws you to this person. You've just got to watch that it's just not all passion unless that's what you want. It's going to burn out if it is. All right, those of you where Spirit's saying you need to wait for the right person to come along. Oh, this is interesting. It says this has got an unbreakable love here. The person has genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. All right, can we have some more guidance on that? Because they're not showing up like that. Oh, yeah. Spirit's saying you've got different paths, darling. You're not on the same part page with this person. The direction you want to move in is different. So 
Are you thinking that you can overcome any, are you in a state of illusion where you think that this person, you and this person can overcome anything? Spirit's saying you're on a completely different path to each other, right? You take the rose tinted glasses off, darling. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Oh, Bob. I feel like giving you a hug. Sometimes we just meet people who are not right for us, right? And there's, there's a gift in there because you could spend, like, I'm going to say some of you could spend months, years waiting for someone that comes in and out of your life because you feel like you've got this amazing connection. It might be amazing connection for two weeks while they're there and then, then they're off again. Um, they're getting their cup filled, but you've got an empty cup every time they leave and all that time you're waiting. Right, so that means you put yourself on the shelf waiting for somebody who's on a different path to you and not invested. Do you really want that? Just saying, just saying. <laughs> oh, that's be small guy. All right, singles. Oh, right now you are feeling grounded. I'm going to say you're feeling grounded, or you need to ground your energy. Right? It's for right now your energy is all about stability, and I think you've actually managed that. You've just got to wait. Watch out for people who want to possess your energy versus being an act, you know, like a a equal reciprocal partner. Spirit saying someone amazing is coming in for you in the next few months. All right, those of you that in the past have dealt with toxic connections and you're still healing from that or recognizing that. Oh, watch out for seduction. Right. There's attraction, hookups, third party temptations. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if do I need to say anything more. I don't know if you've been fooled into that, thought it was something else, you, that's the, what you've been engaging in. <laughs> Any other guidance? I will pull another one. Oh, yeah. When that happens, right, you go into a state of heartbreak, right, deeply hurt and sad, grieving, feeling lost. So... You've got to watch those kind of energies, which means that you, you need to have more self-awareness and you need to learn people more. What does that mean? Well, you're ignoring red flags. You're ignoring what someone's showing you because you want a connection so badly or, you know, you're, you're not balanced. When we're imbalanced, we'll attract people who are imbalanced or that don't do the right thing by us because we come from a place of neediness versus feeling grounded and happy within self. So if somebody comes along and they match your energy, then you could be open to it. But if they come along and you're balanced and grounded and you can see within them that they just want to hook up, well, you can immediately go, I'm sorry, but your energy is not worth my time because I know it's just for a hookup. You'll be instantly be able to see it. Do you see the difference? So when you jump into intimacy too soon with someone you have a passionate connection with, you're jumping in without finding out what their intentions are. So then when they just come in and do that and then leave and ghost you and you don't hear from them again, you get left heartbroken. It's because you're jumping in without any kind of basis for it. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't know that person. Um, they haven't truly shown you who they are. Well, they've shown you afterwards. Mm -hmm. There's some lessons in here you need to learn. Wow, that was deep. <laughs> right. All right, let's have a look at this one in the middle where there's a gorgeous couple here and there's a ring coming. <laughs> if you could be patient and wait for it. Oh, you've got the sword and the rose. It says getting clarity and truth, revelations, honour and protection, determination. So perhaps you're seeking some sort of clarity here. I don't know if you're pushing too hard for a commitment. It's going to come. Perhaps you want to know where the connection's going. Watch control there. All right. This is the one where there's going to be instant chemistry, a lot of passion going on. This group's saying, watch out. It could burn as fast as it starts. It's a karmic relationship, right? So it can be intense and then it's going to let go, right? Turmoil and fleeting. So... If you're going to go into that connection like that, in that energy, just be wise that that's what it's going to be. All right, let's have a look on the end here where some of you are dealing with someone where you're on different paths. They're in and out, travelling. Oh, darling, you might need to heal your heart after this. Mm-hmm. 
it's an abusive relationship on a certain level, but I'm going to say to you, it's going to be really subtle. Why do I say that? Because they may give you a lot of attention like love bombing and then just be, go completely silent because they're just really manipulating to get what they want and they don't really want a commitment, but they're making out that they're a really great person. And I'm not saying they're a bad person, but they don't want the same thing that you do. Any other guidance there? So if you're going to hold on to that person for a long time, at the end of that, you're going to realise that you've sat there for one or two or three years wasting your time. Mm hmm Yeah. you got paradise here. So uh, there's a lot of happiness when you are together, right? It kind of feels like the honeymoon phase. So there's going to be highs and lows. So when they leave, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull another one. Yeah, it's, um, they're certainly interested in you, right? They're certainly, they're certainly interested there. Flirting and wanting to date, but possibly I'm going to say they don't want anything serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. Cut down. It says separation again come out. Stop the pattern, the silent treatment. So there's somebody that they're full on when they're with you, lay it on thick, and then the minute they go, wherever they travel to or work at, whatever they're doing, because they're certainly in and out, they go completely silent. <laughs> and you're sitting there going like, um, I feel like I've just been hit by a train because I had all this love and affection, and then there's nothing. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Ouch. Mm -hmm. All right, singles, let's pull you some guidance. Oh, Spirit's saying some of you need to take the time to heal. You're not ready yet. I'm going to say that specifically those of you where the message resonates that you've attracted some toxic connections in the past, people ghosting you. And I'm so excited to meet you soon. That's for those of you that are balanced done your work and you know there's a soulmate coming in for you and wistfully yearning for more but don't know where to start so you might need to figure out how you're going to meet the next person that you want to be in a relationship with um, I'm going to pull some guidance on new love particularly on the end here where there's somebody that's in and out of your life oh smitten I can't wait to see you again there's certainly passion there. I don't know if that's you or them. Oh, look, it was fun, but I didn't feel a deep connection. So you may be smitten. They didn't feel a deep connection, but happy to sleep with you. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh, each day I grow closer to you. This is a one-sided connection. Mm -hmm. And I'm just getting to know you. So you don't know enough about that person, although they're already showing you. Mm -hmm. All right, couples, where this is this engagement coming? Some of you want more clarity. Oh, each day I love you more and more. And I need some space. Let me breathe. My oh, darlings, you're just like clinging onto them or what? <laughs> or are you feeling like that? Mm -hmm. There is no one else for me except you. Oh, it is a beautiful connection. Someone needs some breathing space. <laughs> Definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's have a look at love, um, relationship influences. Firstly, for singles. Oh, some of you definitely still need to do some forgiveness and healing of the past. You know who you are. And children are a factor in your love life. Some of you may have children, want children. And some of you got some trust issues going on. And I'm not surprised. I'm going to say it specifically to those of you who have been in situations where you've given into intimacy too soon and then been ghosted because you didn't really know what somebody was about. 
Mm -hmm. I will give you another message to that is that if somebody's looking for a life partner and they they may want to test in terms of well, how, how quickly you're going to give into intimacy, if that's their test, you failed, right? Because they want somebody that's not going to jump into intimacy too soon because then they just think, well, you do that with everyone. I know it's a double standard, darlings. Just saying, they'll be happy to take it, but they'll look at it and go, "Ah, uh, you just gave in way too quick." Mm -hmm. Some of you are going to get your backs up about that. I oh, know. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. All right, let's have a look at this connection here, where one of you is smitten, which I'm going to say Gemini is you, and the other person has got a different idea about this connection altogether. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone has to heal the masculine. I'm going to say Gemini to you, right? You've got to heal your boundary setting and your strength and your empowerment. Mm, there's third party stuff going on here. They've probably got, if there's somebody that travels, particularly if they're a businessman or woman, um, they've probably got another person in another city. Yeah. Oh, you've just got to boost up your sense of self love. Right, you've got to know your worth. All right, let's have a look at this gorgeous couple here where <laughs> someone needs to breathe and there's a beautiful connection and an engagement ring coming. Oh, someone's afraid of rejection. Well, this is interesting. And someone's feeling emotionally unavailable. Oh, there's some money issues going on here. Okay, <laughs> that's the case. Let's get to the heart of the matter. Is there anything else going on, on here under the surface? Oh, someone's not feeling great within themselves. It's not you, it's me. So you may be worrying that there's something going on. Oh, there's also some family influences. So either their family or yours getting in the way of creating some stress in this connection. And you just need to rekindle romance and spice things up, Spirit saying. So that's you've got to ask yourself, Gemini, does that really do it? It feels like that message just resonates with me. Is that me not feeling great within myself, or do I don't know that that's how my partner's feeling? Are they afraid that if they propose it's going to be a no? Do they need a bit more encouragement? Right? <laughs> Um, are you afraid of rejection? Are you afraid that you're putting your, your energy into this connection and you're not going to get a commitment out of it when, in fact, they've already organised the ring? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, that twin of yours is coming out to play. It is. Yeah. All right, let's pull some guidance from the Whispers of Love Oracle. Firstly, for singles, those of you completely single right now, Oh, again, you got the message about forgiveness. Some of you have to do a deep level of forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So if you're carrying around resentment, and I'm going to say it's more than one person that hasn't done the wrong thing, that's done the wrong thing by you, but you've got to kind of look at that and go, but I, act, I was an active participant in that, particularly if it was an intimacy issue and then they ghosted you or if you had a cycle of that going on. Because within that, you've got to take responsibility for your choices, right? Because you consciously have a choice about being intimate with someone or not being intimate with someone. Are you putting yourself in situations where you feel like your boundaries aren't strong enough and you just give in? What does that mean? Well, are you meeting someone at their home? Are you not going out to a restaurant or something? Or where you leave them at the door and get into your car and go elsewhere, right? Are you putting those kind of measures in place so you're not placing yourself into situations where there is the opportunity for intimacy too soon? Mm -hmm. Are you inviting someone over to your house for dinner on a first date? Not wise. Um, those kind of things you kind of got to think about because that's a step before you fall into a hole. So when we want to hold on to resentments about someone else, you've got to look at your part in that and go, which part of that did I play? where I drop my guard too soon? Do I need to strengthen my boundaries? There's nothing wrong with looking at your boundaries because if you've got weak boundaries, there's a reason for it. 
hardwired into your neural pathways in your brain, usually all the way back to childhood. Because you probably had someone that constantly overstepped your boundaries and no matter what you did or said, you, your boundaries were stepped over. And there could have been a whole lot of drama that went on when you tried to put a boundary in place, usually with a caregiver. Could be with siblings, could be with all kinds of people. You then grow up with weak boundaries and being fearful of putting healthy boundaries in place with people, particularly if you feel like you need to prove to be loved and all that kind of stuff, right? There's a whole psychology that goes around it, right? So you can't beat yourself up about it, but you've got to recognise where you need to strengthen your boundaries to protect yourself, including that beautiful heart of yours, right? So you kind of got to look at those situations. As much as you want to be resentful about how someone else showed up or treated you poorly, that treated you poorly, the resentment's anger for how you've been treated, right? Which means you need to be smarter in dealing with people, recognising people when they show you who they are, or if you don't know them well enough, or give yourself the time to know them. Versus jumping in too fast. I'm going to apologise for that because you just, some of you needed to hear it. <laughs> Darling. All right, let's have a look at those of you where some of you are feeling smitten with someone and you're on completely different paths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Spirit's saying you need to embrace your emotions. Mm -hmm. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Something in there is telling you that you're not getting what you need and it's less than what you're worth, right? All right, let's have a look at this beautiful couple here where someone's just really not feeling themselves. No, oh, Spirit's saying you're limitless in this connection. You can do anything. So perhaps there needs to be an opening up in this connection. No, oh, it says the only thing that's real is love. Have a look at that. It's so beautiful. There's a beautiful couple there. There's children, the world. Shift your focus back to love, right? So don't focus on the negative. Focus on what you love about them. Be supportive. Be kind. They may be going through something right now. Or you might be, which is impacting how you feel about the connection. All right, let's pull your message from the lovers oracle. Firstly, singles. Oh, that's coming out. Oh, yeah. You've got a message to look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. It's really just for those that need to do some forgiveness, possibly do some journaling. Journal out everything you need to journal out because some of you need to really clear some energy. Be very cathartic. You could then rip it up or burn it later, darlings. Right? <laughs> just get it out. All right, those of you where there's this connection here where it's one-sided, it definitely is one-sided. Mm -hmm. What do you need to know? Oh, okay. She's in deep reflection too. It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So you kind of got to, I would say, you kind of got to like wash your hands of this and go, oh, well, I tried. I tried my best. I showed up. I was open. They weren't. Or we're just completely on different agendas as to what we want. There are new opportunities and possibilities out there for you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this couple here. Oh, Spirit's asking for you, for you to wait and stop rushing, right? Mm -hmm. There's two boughs of a tree here and they're totally in sync with each other. So you don't need to rush this. You're trying to rush to a commitment. They're going to come to it in their own time. Any other guidance there? Yeah, again, this is your third message, right, is you need to bring back the intimate side of this connection. To honour the place in one another. It's, it's all about sexual union. It says, honour the place in one another where you're one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So you've got to open up that intimate side of that connection. It's really important. Sure, if there's anything about you or your partner where, I don't know, if you've put on a little bit of weight, you're a bit self-conscious, there's something going on there where somebody's got to drop all the 
the negative thoughts around that, be a little bit more open. Mm -hmm. All right. I can't tell you what to do in your own love life. That's up to you. <laughs> All right, let's put your soulmate message. Firstly, you single. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got the message to surround yourself with nature and you will feel a greater sense of well-being. Nature's healing energy is sensual and magical and it will awaken the sensual magic within you. I kind of think that's beautiful. Okay, darlings, those of you in a one-sided connection here, <laughs> No, it says everything happens for a reason and even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. Spirit is playfully smacking you on the hand, darling, and saying, not that way. There is something much better for you. All right, for those of you in this connection here where there's certainly commitment coming and Spirit saying you don't need to rush it, Oh, it says you are loved more than you consciously know. Share your insecurities with the one you love. You'll be surprised and reassured by their reaction. Love is all around you. Again comes the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Just do it. <laughs> do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Going forward, let's pull you some tarot guidance. Let's see what comes out. Oh, you've got the wheel of fortune. So no matter if you're single or coupled up, things are going to start shifting forward, right? No matter what you've gone through, going through, things will move forward. Mm. And you've got the queen of wands here. i got to kind of say that you need to get into this energy, particularly those where you've been in situations that haven't served you is you've got to recognise your patterning. The Queen of Wands, she cuts through anything that doesn't serve her, right? And she doesn't do it in a vengeful way. She does it in a very thoughtful, not so much thoughtful, but as in terms of does it in a way that is not reactive, puts a lot of thought behind what's right for them, not right for them, um, is matter of fact, right? You've got enough life experience to recognise what's healthy for you and not healthy for you. Whether you're a guy or a girl. Oh, fuck's sake, different message. Queen of Wands. Okay. You've got the Queen of Swords here. Dare I say the sword looks like it's got a bit of blood on it. It's definitely been used before. So there's certainly been situations where you've cut things out of your life that were toxic, that didn't serve you. She's surrounded by these beautiful roses, right? So she's blooming. Uh, it means a lot of life experience and getting to a place where you've got to recognise where you've tripped yourself up. Recognize your strength, recognize your experience, your wisdom going forward, what you do want in your life, what you don't want in your life, and cutting things, anything out that is not healthy for you. Recognizing it and cutting it out early. Mm. You've also got the Queen of Pentacles, which is, is this beautiful focus on your sense of security and stability, your coin, creating a lot of stability in your life. Oh, and there's the lovers. Have a look at this. You are destined to have this beautiful love in your life. You've just got to choose the right person for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, my darlings, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Don't forget to enter the competition. Mm -hmm. Do reach out for a personal reading if you want extra guidance and support at this time attuned to your specific energy and situation. Booking link is on here and down below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.